I think we are going live. I think Facebook have done a, a new kind of weird thing. Anyway, I hope you can hear me and see me. So what would you do if you knew that you were so much more than this physical body that you have? Would you be scared? Would you be worried about what was going on around you? Would you rush out to the shop and buy 100 toilet rolls? Maybe you might, but how would it be if you knew that your body had a consciousness and that consciousness was really down to your vibrational field and what you actually believed? So I'm Susan Kennard and I'm known as a spiritual scientist. And the reason I'm known as a spiritual scientist is because I incorporate the science of who we are with the spiritual part of who we are. So we are both, there is no separation. We are mind, body, soul. And uh, many, many, many years ago, I trained in psychology and psychotherapy and also new German medicine, which is known as meta health, which is kind of a bit like neuropsychology. So we're looking at the metaphysical reasons for our body showing a message, i.e dis-ease. So with the climate that, that's going on at the moment as I record this uh, on Facebook Live, I know that there's a huge amount of fear. You know, where I live in East Sussex, there's not so much, you know, it's quite interesting. Uh, there really isn't that much. There is uh, a few people that are scared and, you know, quite rightly so, there are seen people that are ill. But all over the world, I just got back from San Diego, uh, where I was at the New Media Summit and I got the opportunity to speak on the stage, which was really fun, and to meet everyone. And there really was like a unity. There wasn't the fear. There wasn't too much um, kind of elbow saying hi. There was a lot of hugging. There was a lot of uh, kind of shaking hands. And, and no one really had the fear. No one really lived in the fear. And, and I noticed that quite quickly. So... We might have arrived on the particular day, but by the first day and by the second day, everyone had kind of just gone into the soul of who they are. And it was a group of people that were, you know, just incredible, um, soul conscious people, um, entrepreneurs, and uh, just really there to make a difference in the world. We all have a podcast. Mine is called The Spiritual Awakener. And many people had different podcasts and we were, you know, talking about that. And what I noticed was that when people come together in unity, then there's such a soul connected part of them that has a much higher reason than being in fear. And when I came back through San Diego airport on Friday, I think it was, I left, <laughs> still a bit jet lagged, on Friday, last Friday, I felt that there was a tension in the airport and, and it was almost like stepping into a new world. It was stepping into a different world that I'd been in at the New Media Summit. And I just wanted to share that with you because when you step into your outside world, you know, you may have been at work or you may not be at work, you may be working from home. Uh, how does it feel being in the outside world? Do you get this energy of fear from other people? Do you feel it's more accentuated than perhaps it was when you are in your collective group of consciousness and conscious people? Do you feel that you know that something outside of you could harm you? Or do you feel that they're highly, hi Tilgan, it's lovely to see you. Or do you feel that you are the creator of your reality? Do you feel that you can change and create anything? Do you feel that your body has a consciousness which is connected to your soul? And if you remember that your soul has this incredible knowing and your higher self has all the answers, then if you can drop into that knowing and drop into that consciousness, there really isn't anything that you need to be afraid of. You know, and I will do that. Uh, little exercise with you in a moment just to help you because I feel really strongly that 
we need to remember who we are. You know, when with the media, with uh, the news, um, which really should be called a four letter word now, you know, what are we getting from it? We're getting the vibration and the energy of everyone else's fear. And it's the same as politics. We're never really meant to be controlled by somebody else. We're really meant to know that we can stand in our own power and that we can really make our own choices and our own decisions. So I just want you to think for a moment and really come into that part of you. And that's why I'm making this video really, just to help everybody. It's like come into that part of you that actually really knows that there is so much more to you than this physical body. And that doesn't mean that you necessarily, um, you know, hug someone that's really unwell or kiss someone that's unwell. Well, that's kind of normal. You know, we wouldn't do that anyway. So really just take care of yourself as you would normally without the fear. So I just want you to think for a bit, you know, is it you that feels the fear or is it somebody that you've spoken to that feels the fear? Maybe it's your family. Maybe it's your partner. Maybe it's uh, someone in your workplace. Feel, is it really your fear? Okay, for a second. And then I want you just to come and bring yourself into that inner knowing, that real consciousness that has all the answers. I really want you to come with me and just come into that place of consciousness. So obviously, you know, taking responsibility if you're driving and listening to this afterwards, and obviously you're not going to close your eyes. But just close your eyes for a moment and just drop into that part of you that really has all the answers. I want you just to imagine that you could see a light inside your heart. And even if you're not good at visualizing or you believe you're not good at, uh, good at visualizing and have that story, just imagine that there was a candle and you could really feel that candle inside of you and you could see that light. Good. And just connect with that little light inside of you. And just expand that light. And as you expand that light, just watch as it goes throughout the whole of your body. So the whole of your body is being lit up and expanded. So you become just a light. And sometimes I like to see this as a sparkling light. And even if your body is giving you a message at the moment, you know, like you might have been diagnosed or been told that you have something or you might have an ache or pain or whatever it might be, then just say thank you to your body. Just really say thank you for showing me, showing me what I need to listen to. And just go into your higher self and that part of you that really knows all the answers. And just ask, what do I need to know? What do I need to know? And if you are feeling fear about what's going on around you with the coronavirus, just ask, what do I need to know about coming into peace? Coming in to love, coming in to trust, understanding. And what the guides are giving me now is really remembering, coming into remembering. What do I need to know about remembering? And just check in with how that feels now. And it might be that you feel less worried about what other people think. And it might be that you feel less worried or less drawn to watch the news. And it might be that you can just trust a little bit more that your body actually has a consciousness. And just know that if you were to do this every day, it's just a few moments, just come into that part of you, see a light within you. And actually, if you go 
to my website, um, susankennard.co.uk. And you can, there'll be a box that will flash up. And if you fill in your name, your email, you'll get immediately get a meditation. And that meditation is a free meditation that I give everybody. And it's the Earth Star Soul Star. And what that does, that, that allows you to connect with the Earth allows you to connect with the multiverse or the universe and it allows you to connect with that part of you that has all the answers so go ahead and do that if you feel drawn to do that meditation and do it on a daily basis if you can or before you go to sleep and if you'd like to know more about the body so if you'd like to know more about the science of the body and how you can heal the body at a vibrational and cellular level in April it's not just yet but in about a month's time there I'm running um, a body program which is called the body the soul and the universe and I'll be going through the science of why your body shows you that message so why your body is showing that message and we'll also be doing lots of healing on that part of the body so this comes with um, brain relays. So we have brain relays, for example, the cortex part of the brain is, is responsible for the skin. So if there's anything going on in the skin, we'd be looking at separation. We'd be looking at how I feel separated to source, to mother, and quite often babies with eczema. When we heal the um, birth trauma or pregnancy trauma, then the baby's eczema goes. Isn't that miraculous? So that's because it's an energetic vibrational print of a fear of separation okay so um, the brainstem is responsible for the fight or flight that kind of um, drive that keeps us alive that um, the fear aspect and so that affects many parts of our body but I, I can talk about that on the program but so essentially we'll be covering the science of the body but also how to heal that part of the body so I'll be doing toning light language um many other processes to access that part of the body and really helping you to understand that your body has a consciousness and that nothing outside of you needs to affect you in any way at all and of course we'll be talking about bacteria and viruses so if you're interested in that go to my website and have a look uh, it's under programs and uh, courses i think and definitely sign up to the newsletter where you get that free meditation okay so i hope this has helped and i really want you just to remember that nothing outside of you has any effect on you unless you believe it has okay and just stay in your consciousness of peace of knowing and of love because fear can't live in love you can't live in the vibration of love much love to you all and uh, reach out and say hi. Lots of love. Bye for now.